All right, how's it going everyone? I'm gonna give a quick tutorial video on how to set up a Zomboid server only because I haven't been able to find this online. Uh, some information that I think people should use, especially given the current build 41. Uh, this may be outdated in the future. If it is, I'll be sure to put it in the description. So here's how you set up multiplayer using just Steam, no server, um, and how to, you know, some good settings that you might want to consider, uh, that kind of stuff. So. First things first, if you go down here and you hit host, you'll notice that it comes up here and it comes up like the server test, you choose your server memory, whatever. If you hit manage settings, right, you're able to create uh, new settings or just use the existing one. So I'm going to create some new set of settings. I'll just call it server test because I don't care. Uh, because here's the thing, right, is that your server settings don't actually, you, you can't create multiple servers using the server settings that's not what it's for so if you like these settings and this is what you plan on using for all your different friends and all your friend groups for your different servers that you may host for them uh just name it the one thing so first things first if you go to other uh down here then you're going to have this thing called minutes per page and this is the amount of game world minutes it takes to read a book i'd recommend changing this to 0 0.1 and the reason why is because reading when you can't fast forward time is lame nobody likes it it's, it's not really fun you end up dying a lot in this game especially if you're playing with friends who are new to the game so set this to 0 0.1 it makes it way more enjoyable for them trust me just do that uh next bit for vehicles uh actually sorry down here sandbox vehicles Here's what I recommend you do. Turn off player damage from crash and turn off car damage on imp or very low car damage on impact. So here's the thing is that in the current state of the game, the car like, like the vehicles are just an extremely buggy state. I've had friends die due to other friends just driving past them uh, and their vehicles just like barely touch and then they instantly die in the driver's seat. It's not fun. Uh, it's just kind of the current state of the game right now. The vehicles are buggy, so I'd recommend you turn off player damage from crash. If this changes in the future, I'll put it in the description. Car damage on impact, same thing. A vehicle can be completely destroyed uh, just by somebody like barely running into the back of somebody else. Purely bug related. Turn it on very low for now. Um, just trust me. Just do that for the, for the moment. Well, the other thing too is that if you want to, you can set it so that way players have to sleep and sleep is allowed. We play this way, we enjoy the aspect of needing to sleep, we enjoy the tiredness mechanic, uh, and we like to be able to sleep through the night. So uh, we we typically turn both of these options on, and that's about it. If you wanna play with the zombies and all the other stuff, go for it, but these are the things that, uh, that we care about the most in our playthroughs. So anyways, you hit save and you save your server settings, and then you go back again, and then there you go, there's your server settings being chosen, and then you click start. And what this will do is it will attempt to launch a game. Sometimes it fails. You have to go back and then try it again. Or you click abort and then click start again. Just happens sometimes. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's not the end of the world if it does fail. It doesn't mean that something necessarily went wrong. It just means that the game bugs out because you know it's still an alpha. Uh, as it always has been. So, the other thing too is that you also have this as well. So if you go into your PC, your C drive, uh, go to your users. Click on whatever user that you're under right now. Click on Zomboid. You'll be able to go into saves. And in here, this multiplayer folder right here is the only folder that it reads. I create a backup where I can create backups of this folder. However, you can also simply control C, control V, and have different worlds for your friends to play in. So for example, if you're playing Zomboid with one friend group and you don't want to play on the same server as another friend group, you simply uh, whatever, basically whatever folder at the end of the day says multiplayer is the folder that it's going to be reading the world data from. So just, you know, manage your folders in that way. You can back things up. You can have another folder here just called multiplayer, uh, multiplayer copy. Like, yeah, you have, you have that option um, and just do whatever it is that you want for your different worlds. Uh, also too, if you go into your server settings over here, this is your server test.ini. Again, it's not linked to the server world. It's just the server settings is all it is. Um, you can create backups of these if you want to. I, yeah, I would never bother, but uh, this is just my one that we're playing on, the world that we're playing on right now, uh, outside of the purview of this tutorial. So let's pop into mold draw real quick. And I'm just gonna pop in as I am. Perfect. So, the next big thing to talk about is the admin of the server. I'm assuming if you're watching this, you are probably the admin. 
and there are going to be situations because the game is still in alpha and there are lots of bugs and people will die due to dumb reasons you're going to want to know how to rectify these problems and so i will try my best to show you unfortunately without an example right now of someone to uh of someone to work with so when you log in you have this client stuff here which is whatever uh, you also have this thing here your server toolbox i'm assuming it's because you're running the server on your computer right now and however this thing itself is almost never used basically you end up using this down here for the vast majority of what it is that you need to do so by default you press t and you're able to enter into this and you're able to say things if you want to you're also able to enter in server commands so a really useful server command to have is set access level space in quotes your name mine's auckland space and then give yourself admin enter now what that did is if you notice it does say admin above my head and it also puts admin right here as well so this gives you admin controls so what this allows you to do is a whole bunch of different things but if you're just looking to give people god mode or invisibility or whatever it is that you need to do for whatever situation you're finding yourself in you can just press escape go to players find any player that will be in your server in this list click on them click, give them invisibility give them god mode whatever it is that you want to do and if you look here in the general chat here it will say that the user is well actually because i gave myself admin it gave me invisibility and invincibility so i just turned those off so now if i go outside uh, as you can see zombies see me and are very interested in me very quickly but you can go over here and i can give myself invisibility again and now i can walk outside and none of those zombies will be interested in me at all um obviously you don't actually do this when you're playing with your friends but for now i'm just letting you know this is an option you can give this to anybody so this is really useful if somebody dies to a bug Typically that involves server desync issues or whatever. If one of your friends gets screwed over by the game being in alpha, you can give them god mode and then turn it back off and that will heal zombie infections, um, other things that may have happened to them. Uh, another thing as well that you do have the option to do is you do have the option to repair vehicles as well. Again, remember when I said that vehicles were extremely buggy in this build of the game you have the option to instantly i'll just do it to this one for now but obviously this one isn't actually going to drive it's going to be funny that i'm going to repair a completely destroyed vehicle but you can right click them and you can repair the vehicles uh which will give them full gas full everything in case a vehicle gets destroyed due to some weird bug so just wanted to uh just wanted to share that with you as well it's useful uh and also too if you have any friends on the server what you're able to do is when you're in admin mode you can right click them and you can set their player stats what it will do is it will give you a window like i think this one oh maybe not uh is it this one yeah yeah i think it'll give you a window like this one for them and you're able to uh set their levels like level them up or level them down in carpentry or whatever so this would happen if for example um your friend desynced or loaded in and was loaded in by a million or was surrounded by a million zombies and died instantly and, and you can't revive people when they're dead so when they spawn back in as a new character you can reset them uh, you can click on items list viewer and you can spawn them in whatever items that they may have lost uh, Especially clothing if it was damaged and it was special clothing you get that So another thing to note too is that if you actually want to get your friends into the game to begin with what you can do uh, And here's how this works you go to invite friends and you invite all of the individual friends that you want to when you click invite This here will turn green and it'll say allow this seems buggy right now Sometimes friends are not able to join into the server immediately um, eventually these problems go away the more that you play but basically some friends you every time you log, log into the server you have to find them and you have to click invite and then find the other one click invite even though it technically says that they are allowed to join it's weird I know but that's unfortunately just uh, sometimes the way it is so anyways yeah this is how you admin a server uh, just through Steam for Project Zomboid uh, again I highly recommend you keep this in mind because you guys are going to die due to uh, weird issues like for example the other day despite all the sickness that I have on that I just showed you we were driving through the woods and somebody was driving up behind me on my screen I seen uh, her car basically fast forward and bump into my car and on my screen she seen me reverse so it made no sense and basically her vehicle was instantly destroyed and then she started getting surrounded by zombies which should not have happened in that situation so immediately what I did was I pressed pause 
I, I went to the players, I found her, uh, I gave her invisibility and I gave myself invisibility and then I quickly gave us both god mode as well just to heal us in case there was any injuries from uh, from being attacked by the zombies when she was in the car and then we proceeded from there got to a safe place repaired the vehicle uh, given that it shouldn't have happened to begin with and then took everything off again so this will severely reduce the amount of frustrations that you have due to uh, you know weird alpha problems that you may run into so anyways Thanks very much for watching. Hope you guys uh, hope you guys enjoy playing multiplayer in Build 41.